Hey Barflies, welcome back to another Behind the Bar Liquor Reviews Brew House Review. It's getting hard to say that, isn't it? It is. <laughs> We've been drinking a lot. Well, yeah. I haven't touched anything. It's all been you. You alcoholics. Mm. Tonight, we got a little specialty for you. Four in hand stout. They build themselves... They call it four in hand, but that's an ace. That's a one. Well, if you, if you look at the picture, it's got three aces in his hand, and he's got one up his oh, sleeve. He's cheating. He is. He's gonna get shot. And it says Crafty Ale. Oh, it's crafty. And in the can, pump. in the can form, it's got a lot of that decorative art around it, and it actually, from a distance, it looks like you're looking at a playing deck of cards. You said in the can. Yes, in the can. That's where he likes it. Cool little bottle. They got a spade on the top. That's got, you know, kind of. It's a spade. Well, yeah, but it's got decoration in it. That's nice. <laughs> this is made by World Brew Breweries in Rochester, New York. And let's see how she is. Now it's a stout, so I'm expecting this to be pretty freaking dark. You think? I would think so. Wow. Oh my god, look at Oh my color. god! It doesn't look like Curry's Line. <laughs> this is more my style, though. <clears throat> now I do like Guinness. I love Guinness. I'm, I, I Guinness guess. is in a world of its own. Yeah. Okay, All right, boys. Good. Cheers, cheers. To Poutine Big Boobies. <laughs> Very chocolatey uh, nose to it. Chocolate and coffee. Oh, yeah, mocha. It's mocha. It is mocha. Oh, it's got a very... Oh, no, that's good. It's got a very chocolate uh, first taste to it. It's more coffee than anything. No, it's chocolate. But it's mocha. mocha. It's mocha. Mocha. That so makes that's really tasty. Yeah. I like that a lot. No, it's good. You're blocking it, you jerk. Sorry. God. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a tasty, tasty beer. Yes, it is. Yeah. If you want a beer that you can have with, like, say, a prime rib, that's the beer. Definitely. I couldn't drink a lot of that, though. That's not something you sit down and just pound a lot of. I can drink a couple of them. I, <clears throat> I gotta switch. Could drink a lot of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I probably could. Oof. But you're gonna feel that. You're not gonna drink a ton of it. No. It's a thick beer, but it's very good. It's got great flavors to it. Yep. It's exactly what you want. I mean, 5.8% alcohol is not light by any stretch of the imagination. No. But, but that's why I say, because like, you talk about a Guinness, that's actually, I, I believe it's a lower alcohol than most. This kind of has that Guinness thing going on, but it's not as heavy. No, but this, has, this has more going on than Guinness. And, uh, I don't know about that. Well, well, I, think, I disagree with that. My, my but, thing is, I've never been a huge Guinness fan. Right. I, it's I, okay, I, I can drink it. I think this is better than Guinness. I would agree. And I can understand that. It's, it, it, Guinness isn't for everybody, <coughs> at least not in this country. You get outside of this country, I believe it's the most popular beer in the world. Mm. I think. But that's as good as any stout, stout in America. Oh, yeah. Now, I know my dad told me in Ireland they actually serve it with sometimes like a scoop of raspberry preserves in it and some just weird stuff. And really? Yeah, in the bar. Okay. Now, yeah. any of our foreign viewers, is that true? Yeah, can you confirm that? I know we got the one guy with a snail in his profile, I believe it is. Uh, he's from Scotland. Okay. So he would probably hey, know. Hey, I'm... I'm Scottish, well not Scottish, but my family came from Scotland. Yeah, he's Scottish and half Yeti, as I clarified mm -hmm. in another video or, Could be. or uh, comment before. Well, yeah, the last time my pops was in Ireland, it was 1969, so things might have changed since then, but um, he said that when, uh, again, at the time, all you had to do was be tall enough to the bar to drink, yeah. and he was over there with the high school band, <laughs> and he was getting sloppy and getting in trouble. Your dad's a tall man. <clears throat> yeah. He was like, what, six foot six five? Two. Enough here. Bottom line is, it's a good beer. Good it is. I suggest buying it. You can move your hand out of the way now. It's. I, I'm sorry. I didn't think I was blocking. We're, we're, World Brew. Idiot. <laughs> World Brew beers, even though they're brewed in Rochester, are mainly on the West Coast. Mm. So uh, our friends over at Cult Moo and uh, Reckless Eating, they probably have access to it. I'd love it if they picked up a six pack of it and they uh, gave it a shot to see what it is. But yeah. Well, I mean, honestly though, this, this beer, Again, you could put that in Europe, and I think it would hold up. Yeah, I agree. Yep, definitely. Because I've had a lot of Europe, not just British Isles, but I'm talking European beers. Some of my favorite beers are from Europe, whether it be England. Stella's one Czech. of my favorites, I know that. Stella, 
Uh, you've got Spotten. Spotten's great. Right. Spotten's a man. I don't want Spotten. I didn't do it. I'm kind of kicking myself. I like Cronenberg. It's a French lager. It's freaking that's I tasty. Think I had that. Did I get that? I got that for you. Yeah. Old, old speckled hen. That's old good. speckled hen. That's British. Yeah, yeah. That's British. Yeah. Murphy's yeah. the Irish. Uh, that's a good soap. The soap. Yeah. The Irish soap. <laughs> Not the Irish soap. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, Boddington. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Boddington's awesome. Either way, if you're on the West Coast. And your viewer, I'm uh, looking mainly at our other friendly shows that we, uh, you know, uh, called Moo, Air Pink, and Senor Wero, and uh, the guys over at Reckless Eating. If you got, you know, you're on the West Coast, see if you can find some foreign hand. I know they have a nut ale, and they have an amber ale. You're all about the nut ale, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Give it a try. Give us a video. Oh, response. Only when it's got what you think. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. What are we giving this? I give that a seven and a half. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm right there with you. Yeah. Eight. We'll give you this eight. is this is a very good style. But again, this is more my style. It's yummy. I'm gonna tend to grade a little nicer on this one. But it is very good. Definitely. But again, I'm the kind of guy I can sit down and drink a lot of this. I really could. I want that coffee astringency that you get. And that's something that just seriously what kind of dries out your mouth a little bit. I like that. There you it's go. It's a big word. It is a big word, but it's the proper word. I agree. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the show. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment if you've ever tried this before. We did love not, to know. We suggest it. Yes. Definitely find it. Uh, you know, if you got if you got a craft brew place around your house that sells all sorts of different beers, ask them to get it in. It's from World Brew in Rochester, New York. I'm sure they can find it for you. Um, so they make that here. Yep. But it's popular out there. It's, it's where it sold so out. So beers. Yep. I, I honestly think that the West Coast is a little bit more into the crafty style beer. So the West Coast is cool, man. Right, actually, except Rochester, for the earthquakes, that would suck. <laughs> Rochester, uh, we used to have something like what was it, three hundred craft breweries it. back before prohibition, and now at this point, right now, Western New York is only, or Rochester itself is only up to like eighty. Where there's that many? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, they're starting to they're starting to show up everywhere. We should but start one. I was thinking that. Yeah, I don't know anything. About it. <laughs> It'd be fun to try. Yeah, I'll just try it. But let's dump we don't know that. anything about it, so let's, let's start <laughs> do it. <laughs> I think that's a smart cool business plan. Yes, that's how you do it. All right, leave a comment. Let us know if you've tried it or what you'd like to see us try in the future. And uh, if there's anything that you want, if there's anything you want to send us, contact us. We'll be more than happy to give it a review and give you credit for it. Thanks for tuning you don't in actually get credit like a grade, it's just we'll say, hey, yeah, so-and-so. Whatever name you write down, we'll say, thanks. Well, you get no college credit or anything like no. that. We have no credentials whatsoever. No. I do. Just You don't have shit. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just get a thanks from three guys that provide you really good uh, reviews on alcohol. Yeah. But if it sucks, we're going to tell you. Yep, definitely. So Don't be afraid, though. We want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Don't be afraid. But we'll tell you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a good night. Cheers. Later. <laughs> but that is really good. Oh, yeah. All right.